Holger Rune versus Novak Djokovic is the men's final for the Paris Masters for 2022. And both players have had to battle to get their way to the final. Rune started the tournament off unseeded and will take on Stan Wawrinka, the veteran, in the first round. And after losing the first set, he had to come back and fight for the win, eventually beating Stan in three, four, six, seven, five, seven, six. In the second round, Rune will take on the number 10 seed, Hercatch, who's playing for an A to B final spot. But Rune would take out Hercatch and take out his chances of making the A to B finals, winning in straight sets, 7-5, 6-1. In the third round, he take on another player who was playing for an ATP final spot, the number seven seed Rublev. And again, Runa was not intimidated by a top 10 guy, beating Rublev in straight sets, 6-4, 7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Runa would take on the world number one and top seed, Carlos Alcaraz. And after taking out the first set and pushing Alcaraz to a tie break, Alcaraz would eventually have to retire through injury. 6-3, 6 all retirement. In the semifinal, Runa would take on the most informed player of the moment, the number eight seed, Felix Ogier Aliassime. And this would be one of the most impressive wins from Runa all week, beating FAA in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, to get to the final. Novak Djokovic entered the tournament as the number six seed and got a bye in the first round. In the second Second round, he take on the serve volley player Cressy, and after a very close first set, where Cressy pushed Djokovic and pressured him, Nole eventually prevailed in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4. In the third round, he take on Karin Hashinov, a man that he had played already three times in 2022, and after a frustrating first set, Djokovic got it together in the second, beating Hashinov again in straight sets, 6-4, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinal stage. In the quarterfinals, Novak Djokovic would take on Lorenzo Musetti, who had just come off beating Kasper Ruud in a three-setter, but unfortunately, Musetti said he couldn't replicate that against the best, losing pretty convincingly to Djokovic. Six love, six three, getting Novak into another semi-final in Paris. Novak Djokovic would take on the number five seed Stefano Tsitsipas, a man that he had just beaten a couple of weeks ago in Astana. But this match would be completely different with Djokovic having to fight in the third set, eventually getting through in three, six two, three six, seven six. These two have only played the one time before. That was at the US Open last year. And Runa did get a set back then, but unfortunately back then his body gave up on him in that match match, and Djokovic ended up getting the win in the end. If Runa's going to win this match, he's just got to keep being aggressive. I know I've said that the last few videos, but he does need to keep doing that. He worked against Alcaraz, it worked against Felix. He's going to have to do that if he's going to get any chance of beating Djokovic this time around. If Novak's going to win, he's going to be a little bit more urgent, because against City Pass, he did look a little flat. He needs to get some energy, some urgency about him, because we know if you take it slow against Runa, he is going to run over the top of you, as we saw with Felix in the semis. This is going to be a very fun match. It was a great match at the US open and that was the first time we ever saw Runa on the main stage. We all know what to expect from Djokovic but this is 12 months later. Runa's much much better now. It's going to be a lot of fun. Who do you think is going to win? I think Djokovic is going to win. Experience will win the day. He'll win his seventh title at the Paris Masters. Probably a three-setter as well just to throw it in there. Why not? But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this final?